again, everyone, and welcome. Uh, we enjoy it every time that you tune in for our Cooking with Cashway segments. Uh, my name is Mike, and this is Chef Randall. And uh, the only thing I really wish that the, the viewers could do is, you know, just turn up the volume a little bit and allow the, the aroma of what you're cooking to come through, the, yeah. because this is one of those, it, it always is, and uh, you've got some butter in there, and then you've got some... Leeks. Yeah, it, it's just yeah. fantastic. It's like... You, you almost should get an aerosol can sprayed of this. <laughs> a, little, a little poopery. Yeah, you know. But anyway, what, what are we making in this right, segment? So we're going to make a uh, very silky smooth um, butternut squash soup. Mm. However, uh, I went to the grocery store. They did not have butternut. So, but they did have our own North Dakota hybrid butter cup. Oh. So I got butter cup squash, which I actually prefer. So, um, okay, for those that don't, the difference? Uh, well, they're not, they're, they're not shaped very, and so the butter nuts kind of got that kind of like a, you know, that kind of shape, okay. where the butter cup looks like a giant uh, acorn. But for, from a taste standpoint? Um, or? I really prefer the butter cup. I think they're a little, little um, more velvety, a little bit softer uh, flesh. Okay. So, yeah. That's what we're using. All right. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, so we, I, you know, we're, we're at a point right now where uh, my leeks have been, are softened. Uh, they're, they're at a point where they're gonna start to brown and I don't want that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna add in our squash and then I'm gonna add in our broth. And we have one and a half cups of chicken stock. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let that come to a boil. That, kinda, that our sound kinda changed, didn't it? It's okay. I mean, it's, Again, the, the smell is all that I'm focusing on right now. It's still wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna give that a cover. Okay. So one thing I wanted to mention about when you cut squash, um, you know, it's a very hard and awkward vegetable. Um, and so what I typically do is I'll cut off the top and the bottom. Um, and that way I have um, a stable, some somewhat of a stable uh, thing there. Now on the butter, on the butter nut, uh, since the, it's shaped the way it's shaped, I can use a peeler on that. Okay. But buttercup, it, it, it's more like, um, it's, it's you know, maybe about this tall, and it's just very, very hard to do it. So you have to be very careful when you cut off the top of the bottom because it's hard and it's awkward. So one of the things I just like to do is just get, get a place where it's, I can you know, get it you know, um, uh, flat, and then once it's flat, then I can go in and start making you know, vertical cuts, okay? okay. Uh, but, you know, just also is that you want to make sure that your hands are on top of the knife, that you have a knife that's properly sized for the squash that you're using. Um, you know, try not to use a knife that's too small uh, because then you're going to put yourself in, in, in more of a danger when you do that. And then when you cut your uh, squash, you want to make sure that your chunks are all about the same size so that when you're going to cook it, they're all going to cook about the same same time. So if you want something to cook a little faster, cut it small. Okay. Even though it takes a little bit more time up in the, in, on, the, on the front end, uh, trust me, it's a much better uh, deal because it's going to you know the the cooking process will be faster. And how long does this have to cook? So we're going to let this go for probably about a half hour okay. to, to thirty or to a half hour to forty minutes. Really, what we're looking for here is that that squash is very tender. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to take our vertical blender, you know, that little, the little, you know, little yep. immersion blender, handy tool, and we're going to uh, puree it. Uh, we're going to add some cream. We're going to finish the seasoning on it, and then we're going to eat it. What is the silkiness? You, 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 the title on the recipe says silky. So um, the way that we puree it, mm -hmm. and then the addition of the cream. Okay, so that's yet yeah. to come. Now, if we wanted to keep this dairy free, uh, we could certainly use uh, um, a coconut. Uh, so I would probably, if I wanted to do this more. So if I was going to feed vegetarians or vegans, what I would do is I'd probably use the coconut oil uh, on the front here with the leeks, and then uh, I'd use coconut milk rather than cream. All right. So we're going to take a break, let this thing do its job, and then we'll uh, come back to finish all this up. So don't go away. You're cooking with Cashway.